Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the set at 20th Century Fox Studio, where producer Samuel G. Engel and director Henry Coster are bringing one of the studio's most important productions to the screen, the story of Ruth. This is the producer-director team responsible for Come to the Stable and A Man Called Peter. And Mr. Coster also directed The Robe. Here is Mr. Engel to tell us about the star of the story of Ruth. This is Ilana Eden, whom Buddy Adler, Henry Coster, and I have selected to portray the coveted title role in the story of Ruth. Ilana Eden comes to us from the Holy Land, following worldwide search in which literally over a score of young, talented actresses were tested. Ilana is a graduate from the renowned Habima Theater. She was chosen by us because we feel she possesses the necessary qualifications for this exacting role, and because of her natural qualities, which most faithfully exemplify this beloved biblical heroine. Here is Ilana in a few brief scenes from the story of Ruth. Fine. Very fine. That too. Show me the rest. Do you disapprove of disciplining slaves as you do of sacrificing to the gods? Are you going to answer me? My answer would offend you. No more than you have already done. It is not wise to be lax with servants. It only encourages disobedience. One must be strong with them. You disagree? I never confuse gentleness with weakness, my lady. Is this more of the teachings of your invisible God? My Lord Haydock. So, you are troubled. Tell me. I've, I've sinned. I've offended the God. I'm deep in sin, my Lord Haydock. Let me judge of that. I doubted the ceremony of the sacrifice. You've seen many sacrifices since you were old enough to understand. You have never doubted them before. What has happened, Ruth? I, I talked with a man who, who believes no God could be pleased to accept the life of a child on the altar. I could not meet his questioning. Who is the man? Malone, the Judean artisan. Just as I thought. He's... He's a gentle, a kind man, and, and that makes my burden greater. You have given heed to one of our old enemies. You are naive, my daughter. You have much to learn. Ruth, do you not know in your inward heart that the sacrifice of the virgin child is wholesome? Yes. That it brings fertility to the land? Yes. Do you not know that this sacrifice purges our land of sins and sustains us against our enemies? Yes, yes, my lord. I know all this in my inward heart. The I... ways of Chemosh are not to be questioned. Yes, my lord. You have found favor in the king's eyes. In the spring, you will be a priestess of high station. You may even become one of the king's consorts. You still have misgivings, Ruth? No. No, my lady. You are going to be stronger for your experience. Remember, you have the exalted honor and duty of leading the child Tabor to the altar tomorrow. Be at peace with yourself.
From the beginning, it's been the purpose of Norman Carwin, who wrote this beautiful screenplay, Henry Coster, who is now directing it, and myself to bring to the world, for the first time on film, this spectacular adventure story about the conversion of a young girl from paganism and idolatry to constancy and love of mankind through faith. I can speak to you with confidence that Ilana is proving to be not only a great Ruth, but a happy and needed star in Hollywood's firmament.